Welcome to Farde Mamel, the White Lighthouse in Dakar, Senegal. Farde Mamel sits atop one of two hills in Dakar. Yes, they saw two hills, and that's what they thought about. The lighthouse sits on the taller hill, while the African Renaissance monument rests a short distance away atop the slightly shorter one. Both sites are easily accessible by taxi from anywhere in Dakar. The tower is 16 meters high and houses a museum on the ground floor. However, the museum is not friendly to mobility or visually impaired people. Here, Tim is preparing to go up steps with no railing. We want to give a special thanks to the staff at the museum for their help in getting him inside and safely back down again. To visit the lantern room up top, the stairs get even narrower and more treacherous. But more on that in a minute. Wait till you see the view. The French built this lighthouse and it opened in 1864. The car's unique position made the perfect location for a lighthouse for a couple of reasons. First, it's the westernmost tip on the African continent. Second, it's halfway between Europe and South America, making the voyage for those engaged in the slave trade much easier. Then, however, the French lost Dakar to the Dutch. In fact, the strategic position of Dakar was so significant that it was occupied by the French, the Dutch, the Portuguese, and the British at different times. The French were the only ones to occupy it twice. The second time, they added some defenses. And here is the initial wall, here, uh -huh. and here the fortified wall. And also, they opened these small doors. You may think that they are windows maybe, but they are not true windows. They are called mortars or meurtrières in French. Uh -huh. Meurtrières. Meurtrières. Yeah. They were used to see the enemy, to watch the enemy, uh -huh. so they can see the here. Uh -huh. And because of the shape, you can see the shape. Uh -huh. And they are here. It's very easy for them to shoot from here, uh -huh. than the enemy shoot from the other side. Because it's quite wide here, and a bit narrow over there at the end. Right, so you aim through there, yes. and they couldn't hit you. When you're here, you can see yeah. even everything happening at sea. Uh -huh. But they cannot see you. Okay, so this is the frontal optic of Far de Mamel. Okay, it's consists of four parts, four main parts. The first is the light source, meaning the bow. From here you can see it. Can you see it? Yes, I okay. can see it. This is the bow, meaning the light source of the lighthouse. But when it's when it's on, the light when it's on, it, there will be the reaction of these first lenses. Mm -hmm. These are called the converging lenses. Converging? Converging lenses. Uh -huh. Yeah, they not they don't diffuse the light, but they keep the light intense in in, in, the, in, the, in the optic. Okay. And after there will be the reaction of the of this one. These are called the diverging lenses. This will diffuse the light in a radius of 52 kilometers. 53 kilometers. Okay. This is the range. And there are two parts here. Uh -huh. The first is here up, and the other down. Mm -hmm. Here is for the beams for planes. Oh. That's here. The beams for planes, and here beams for boats. And here is what is called the dead angle. This cuts off the light at night when the lighthouse rotates. When you're here, you say the, the circle is passing, mm -hmm. so you can see the light. Right. And right after, you're going to have an, an angle, and then uh -huh. stop seeing the light for five seconds. Ah, okay. This is the code of the lighthouse. Ah. One beam of light every five seconds. Mm -hmm. One beam of light every five seconds. This is the code. In, in West Africa, mm -hmm. this is the only one that has this code. Let's watch that beautiful lens in action. Oh, and here's that gorgeous view I promised you. If you're in Dakar, make time to come see Farde Mamel for yourself and watch this video next.